Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our Bomb and Legends in Bluebeam. This is our fourth webinar in our Tips and Tricks series. To start with, I have a couple of updates. Because this is a public presentation, we will have all mics muted. If you look at your GoTo control panel, you will see a question box and a chat box. Enter any questions you may have during the presentation, and we will answer them at the end. We have allotted some time for Q&A. We are Zentech Consultants. We provide innovative technology solutions to the Canadian CAD BIM construction marketplaces. Our focus is to improve efficiencies, which in turn leads to increased productivity. I'm Steve Fahey. I'm based in Halifax and I manage our Canadian operations. I invite you to visit our website to learn more about our company and our offerings. Also, don't forget to follow Zentech Consultants CA on LinkedIn to stay up to date on all of our upcoming webinars and training. I'd like to quickly mention that we recently released our Zen Estimate deal for Metric. Zen Estimate is your fast, accurate, and consistent QTO tool for Bluebeam. We also just released two new versions of our Zentech review tools. In addition to structural site work, exteriors, and interiors, we now also offer concrete and general contractors. To learn more about our Zen Estimate or our Zentech review tools, please visit our website or contact me. I'm pleased to have Dan joining me today. Dan has an extensive background implementing and supporting technology in the construction management field. He is a noted writer in the Bluebeam community has published multiple articles and trade journals. We are very happy to have Dan and his experience on our team. At this time, I'm going to let Dan take over the controls and show us Bomb and Legends in Bluebeam. All right, thank you for that, Steve. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in today's webinar, we're going to talk about uh, bill of materials and how we can create a legend within Bluebeam uh, so that you can see everything, all your material, all your product items, when you take them off directly on your PDF. Uh, so you can see my screen right now, we're dealing with this basic office floor plan that I have here. And on the left hand side, you can see my tool chests and I have a, a bunch of custom tool chests, one I've created for today's lesson. Uh, this legend tools, and I basically just have two count objects and one poly length measurement tool, right? And you can see I have a subject and a label for all three. And if I if I wanted to take them off, say I wanted to start with my doors here, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, and I wanted to take off doors because I need to determine how many doors I have on this floor plan. Well, with a basic count object, I'm just going to go ahead and click along. Right? I'm not going to get every door here. I'm just showing you as an example, right? I'll hit escape, and then I've counted my doors. Right, and I can move on and I have this nice little electrical outlet symbol too. So I wanna take off electrical outlets underneath my computers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop them in there. Okay, and then I have this you know, four inch water line for my plumbing that I have to account for. It's a nice little poly length tool. I'm just gonna run it from this wall to that wall. And there we go. Uh, now, anytime we're doing a takeoff, you know, we have everything, our, our markups on our plan, right? Um, but then in order to see the data, we have to pop pop out our markups list. Okay, I'm just going to pop this out here. And you can see I have everything here. I can determine my count uh, for each one of my items, my doors, my electrical. I have the measurement for my plumbing line. That's all great. But I want to see this on my actual drawing, right? So how do we do that? That's where Legends comes in, right? So if I wanted to see all this data directly on my plan here, all I have to do, and actually what I can do really quickly here is just take over on my Legends tools. If you have a custom tool set, you could click this little gear icon here and you can see that down on the dropdown, uh, you have a legend pop out. And if I go ahead and create a legend here, all I have to do is just drop this on here. And now I have a legend that gives me the exact counts and the distance for my water pipe. So if I wanted to go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna actually continue my count for my electrical outlets, I'll right click here and resume the count and start just taking off, right? And I'm just gonna click on my computers, I'll hit escape. And in real time, 
you can see how the quantity updates directly onto your screen, right? Not only that, you have the ability to adjust the, the look of your legend the same exact way as you would a standard markup, right? So if I just select my legend here, I'll go over to my properties. You can see now that I have the ability to adjust, you know, the color, right? If I want to change the fill color and make it pop a little bit more, uh, you can change the actual title here. Maybe I want this to be my takeoff counts, right? And you can see how it changes when you change the properties here, right? All the same information. I can change the the table style if I want to get rid of those those grid lines and just make it look kind of blank like that, I can do that, All right? You can change the font. You can really change anything here. Uh, now, the cool thing is that once you have this adjusted, right, you can go ahead and and save this to your tool chest so that you have uh, this, this legend for future use. Now, you can see down here in my markups list, I have this custom column that I created, this product code for each one of my tools. Well, the really cool thing is that I can include custom data within my legends as well. So if you take a look over here at the uh, the properties, right? So I have this little edit columns button. If I select that, I can go down to my custom column, my product code. And you can see now that I have not only the quantity and the label, but I also have my exact product code. And you can put any information that you want in here. So long as you create it as a custom column, you can have it come in as uh, part of the legend as well. Now, as, a, as I was saying, if you want to see this for future use, all you have to do is right click and add it to your tool chest, right? I can throw this to my legend tools. And then I'm going to just go ahead and delete this really quickly here. I don't even delete all my markups, right? But now I have it in my tool chest, my legend tools. So all I have to do is click it, I drop it here. And then once I start taking off again, it's giving me all the same data. So that is how we create and utilize legends uh, within Bluebeam to actually see our data directly on our PDF in a legend form. And that is what we have for you today. I'm going to send it back over to Steve for any questions that you guys might have. You know, I've been uh, selling Bluebeam solutions for over 10 years now and uh, never ceases to amaze me how powerful the product is and, and what you can do with it. So we do have a couple of questions. Uh, one is, do you need to create a new legend for each page of a drawing? That's a very good question. So the drawing I have right here is only one page, but if you had a multi-page or multi-floor PDF drawing, whatever you're working with, it's very simple. When you select your legend here and you go over to your properties tab, uh, down here, kind of close in the middle, it says source pages. And all you have to do is change this from current to all pages, or you can select a custom range, right? So you can set, you know, pages one through 10, maybe it's, um, you know, one building is pages one through 10. You can select the range to be one through 10 and then create another legend for pages 11 through 20 and so on and so forth. So you have the ability to adjust whatever target pages you want to through the source page. But very good question. Excellent. Uh, one more. How do you create a legend if you don't use any custom tools? That is also a good question. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll delete this here and I'm gonna very quickly put in just a basic count object that isn't saved in my custom tools, just this check mark here. Right. And in order to create a legend on the markups that you've created onto your PDF, all you have to do is select everyone, every single item. So just select all and then right click on them. And you also have the ability to create a legend based off of your markups on the PDF. Just by right clicking down here in legend, you'll create a new legend and then boom, it's there for you. OK, excellent. Thank you very much. So that concludes our webinar today, showing you the bomb and legends within Bluebeam. Uh, you will receive uh, an email afterwards with a copy of the recording, so you can watch it a little bit slower and uh, make sure you got everything that we showed you today. 
uh, as always, want to thank you for your time and invite you to visit our website to learn more about Zentech and the services that we offer to help you. Uh, you can email me or contact me via phone anytime. We're happy to help. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.